yet two hours later. Look at this, guys. Look at this. What up, guys? Retro Django here. New pinball day. A pinball machine that I have been looking for for so long time. And I finally got it. And I'm completely heartbroken. So why is that? I mean, I have been looking for this game. So guys, yeah. So you guys know I'm completely in data east mode, right? The thing is, I have the pleasure of owning Last Action Hero. Love it, love the cabinet artwork, it's so beautiful. I have the creature from Tales from the Crypt. Uh, beautiful, beautiful game, love the artwork, everything is cool. I want Data Star Wars, but it has got this dull blue cabinet that I don't like. And Lethal Weapon 3 has got the same dull blue cabinet. And I see this one, right? The seller tells me he put in a lot of money in this. This one got restored in a, by a guy that knows what he's doing. So he strips off everything, right? He paints the cabinet beautiful black. And you can see everything is painted black. Inside it's painted. It's... You have to paint to put on new decals, right? So, I buy this as a fully restored, amazing looking pinball machine. And look what I got, guys. Look at this. Look, look here. Look at the bubbles here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but look at this. It's so heartbreaking. And in an hour, it will bubble up again. Look at the legs area. I mean, I have had so many pinball machines, so many restorations, never seen. It just, come on. And it has got um, a plastic spacers from Stern, so the leg does not hit the uh, cabinet, but it just, it's painted, it's, it's really well done, but the sticking, the sticking adhesive thing on this black decal that I love the looks of, it, look at this. You can see the leg doesn't charge, but, oh man, it's so ugly. Look, it just, it just. Come on. Oh, look at this side. This is so sad. Come on. I'm so sad about this. This, this one is okay. But uh, let me see here. Oh, man. Again, the leg doesn't charge, but um, <sighs> look at this. <sighs> I'm sure a lot of companies sell these black decals. I don't know who makes them, but if you guys know the company that makes these decals for Lethal Weapon, for a lot of awesome, awesome games. I love that it's black, okay? But... If you guys know the company that makes these, please link this video to that company and show, look at this. Retro Django is in love with this pinball machine. He paid so much money because he thought that it was a great look and lethal weapon three from Data East. You can see the inside is painted, under here is painted. It's, the work is well done. 
but the um, the quality of the sticking stuff of this is just not good enough. I have showed hundreds and hundreds of pinball machines on this channel. I have showed you so many uh, pinball machines with new decals on, but this is the first time that it just. When I come back here in an hour, everything will bubble out again. Look at this already, already. I actually, <laughs> I've actually used this and I just put everything in place, you know, but um, I think I, I, I'm just so sad. You, you guys know, collectors, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. Um, as you can see, it's painted all the way inside. Everything is just, yeah, you know what I mean, right? If you guys know who has done this, who produces these, okay, please send this video to that company. Tell them to contact me. Tell them to send me some new decals. What the, what is this, man? I mean, I paid top dollar for this game and I smiled all the, all the way to the bank paying because when I saw this, I don't like the blue, the light blue. And when I saw this black lethal weapon, <gasps> It looks, I will share you the picture from the place it got made. Here you can see, I will share a couple of pictures where you can see when it's just put on, when these decals are just put on. New lockdown bar, new bars to the side. Uh, I don't know with the back glass, but it looks pretty, pretty new. This one looks pretty new, so, but if it doesn't hold up, it doesn't hold up. I mean, I need to get in touch with this company, man. They... Oh, now bubbles again. Look at this already. Five minutes ago, guys. It's really, really stinky quality. I'm sorry to say that. I don't want to mess with people's business, but... Uh... But I'm honest, I show everything as it is, man. Can you, can you see here? I, I can put it on. You can see it does stick, but... Uh, oh God. There we go. Now it's beautiful, but it's beautiful for an hour. What? When I come back, it will just be all stinky looking again. So please help me guys, help me get in touch with this company. Not all those web shops that sell these decals, because I made a Google search, you can buy them many different places. It's cool, but the, but the, the place they are getting produced, I wanna get in touch with them. You cannot, you cannot ship something like this, guys. Um, if they have made a 2.0 version, if they send me some new decals, I will on video remove all this, show you everything, put them on, and let, let's see how it goes. I don't wanna, I don't wanna damage nobody's business. Don't get me wrong, but this is just a game. It's one of the best games from Teres that I have tried. I love the music, I love the spinner shots. We're gonna make a full review of this game, but it just breaks my heart when I pay more than it's worth <laughs> and I want it to look like a great looking game, you know? And then and, and, and this happens. I mean, when I received this and I got it shipped, I didn't just, if I, if I visited the seller to pick this game up, I would never have bought it, never. But I got it shipped home. The seller told me it was great looking, but um, we're all different. Define great looking, right? Define great looking. This is not great looking for me. 
the price should be much much different than what I paid because this one needs new decals all over the place. It is one of these guys. The GI didn't work. Oh my god, boring. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. But now it's playing. All the switches are working. Pop bumpers were dead. Display was a mess. Yeah. Well, yeah, it works fine now. So um, just let me get in touch with this company and let's let's fix this. Let's let's fix this on video part two. Don't you think? Retro Django deserves a beautiful look in Lethal Weapon 3, especially when he is in complete data East mode, right guys? Hook, hook a brother up, have a great day out there, see ya! Yep, two hours later, look at this guys, look at this! I don't care about the legs, but it irritates me that everything just falls out here on the sides. Legs, I don't care. Legs, I don't care. I don't care about that, but this... This is a huge problem for me. In two hours, it will just all fell out again and everything is painted so perfect so if you guys have any idea what to do please help a fellow collector out because i really like the graphics but it just doesn't stick the right way something is wrong so if you have any idea please share it with me okay